The former Port footballer was working on renovations at his Glenelg North house with brother Stephen when tragedy struck just after 1pm. I was working for Balfour's at the time, I'm in the office, I get a phone call about 3pm I think it was, uh, telling us that uh, Anthony had been, been crushed in this accident. Uh, you know, total disbelief first of all, and then, you know, this is Friday and we're playing the very next day. I was really affected, you know, emotionally it was, it was like losing family, exactly like losing family. But that build up to that game was like, we were so pent up with knowing that we have to win, we have to win. We got out in the first half and, you know, really everybody bar George was struggling. So we get into the rooms at half time and I know personally I was thinking we're going to get the biggest bait we've ever had and, and me personally I'm going to get ripped to threads because I was not having a good game. Because we were down normally I'd rip into the players but I, I, I felt so heavy that day and so I just sat there and I said now listen guys let's come in really close. I said I'd like to put you in the Williams shoes. I said they'll be sitting home listening to the radio. I said they'll be devastated. We're letting him down at the moment, and I said, here's this family giving everything for this club and we're doing nothing. We're losing. Now, I can lift, I can do better, you can do better. We're going out in this third quarter, we're going to win this, and we're going to win the game. Just I'm cheering up now. So that, that's how important it was. I wouldn't believe that uh, Phelps would kick the ball so poorly, but obviously Brown did. It's an amazing speech for me because I just, I just had this release of like pressure, like thinking, oh, you know, we just got to get back out and play footy. On that day, it, it, we all had to lift, and you know, there was no doubt I had that motivation that Jack put out to all the boys. McNeil, he can kick a goal. McNeil deep into the goal square. Oh, great mark, Greg Phillips, the last line of defence. Come the last turn. Some amazing things happen and some really special moments. Uh, you know, I can remember George getting a, a, a terrible cut below his eye and continuing on. David Brown doing some special things, taking a mark at a goal square, a, a pat contested mark for a five foot eight block. Who's in front? Who is that? It's Dillamore or Brown. Brown is the player. Brown has snuck in front of the pack and has taken a telling mark. You know, I, I, I myself managed to, to get a couple of goals in the last quarter, which were just, you know, icing on the cake that made me feel like I've contributed. He's kicked! And it's a goal! Goal in the front! Dinamis third goal of the game! Port hadn't won at Norwood since 1981, but they strode away with a hard-earned, emotional victory. When the siren rang, I reckon it was the best feeling, along with, a, not, not the sides, but along with the grand final, that I felt, and I think the players felt exactly the same. That's how close we are as a team, Port Adelaide. I can sort of remember getting in the rooms and, and hugging Andy Obst and, and Roger Delaney, and then Jack, after everybody sort of, after the emotion, said, Rightio, quickly shower up, get in your cars, we're going to the Williams household. And I was like, whoa. So as a convoy, we just went down there and got in there. <laughs> That sticks with me as one of my great memories of what the Port Adelaide Club means in terms of family, but also the fact uh, that we played Norwood that day just, just added a fair bit to that. We get to the house, and I remember seeing Foss and Vaughn. Vaughn was incredibly strong. She was amazing. She grabbed my hand and just said, uh, God only takes the best, Timmy. That's why it's taken my son. I get to Stephen, and I gave him a hug, and I didn't think he was ever going to give up. The hug and he just said, I'm such a bloody sore, I'm crying so much. And I just thought, geez, if you can't cry in your mate, you'll never cry. So, uh, it was an incredibly emotional scene. It was just so pivotal. I think also, we'd, we'd struggled to beat Norwood for a long time, and previous 11 encounters, they'd beaten us 10 times. So not only did we get to play Norwood at Norwood Oval and win, we won on an incredibly significant day, which, sort of piled in the insignificance when we got to the Williams household.